The Chiefs have the weekend off as the rest of the league slugs it out in the wild card round. So while we wait to see who Kansas City will play next week, let's take a quick look back at how we got here. Patrick Mahomes just completed one of the best regular seasons by a quarterback in NFL history. Leading the league in passing yards with 5,250, that's 511 more than second place. Passing touchdowns with 41, six more than second place. Passing first downs with 272, 35 more than second place. And passes of 25 or more yards with 49, that's 14 more than second place. He also set an NFL single season record for total offensive yards, that's passing, rushing, and receiving with 5,614. Altogether, Mahomes led the Chiefs to the highest scoring and total offense in the NFL at an average of 29.2 points and 413.6 yards per game. Mahomes' favorite target all season long was tight end Travis Kelsey who caught 110 passes, that was a career high, for 1,338 yards and 12 touchdowns. He finished eighth among all players in receiving yards this season, and get this, no other tight end topped 1,000 receiving yards this year, while Kelsey tallied his seventh 1,000 yard campaign in a row. There's simply nobody better at the tight end position. Elsewhere on offense, the duo of tailbacks Jarek McKinnon and Isaiah Pacheco combined to form one of the most dynamic backfields in the league. McKinnon caught nine touchdowns this year, which marked the most by a running back since Marshall Falk in 2001, while Pacheco rushed for at least 60 yards seven times since week 10. That was tied for the most such games of any player in the NFL during that span, matching Josh Jacobs and Nick Chubb. On the other side of the ball, the Chiefs racked up the second most sacks in franchise history with 55. Defensive lineman Chris Jones was the man behind nearly a third of that production, matching his career high with 15 and a half sacks. He also recorded 77 pressures this season, which led all interior linemen and ranked fifth among all players. Another player on the defensive front who finished the season strong was rookie defensive end George Karloftis, who tallied five and a half sacks over his final seven games. His six total sacks on the season ranked third among all rookies. Karloftis was one of six rookies who logged significant time on the Chiefs defense this season. In fact, that group combined to appear in 94 games for Kansas City recording 218 tackles, 61 pressures, 29 passes defensed, nine sacks, and two interceptions as a whole. There were growing pains along the way for each of those guys, but the future is very bright for the Chiefs' young defense. Lastly, but certainly not least, let's talk about the season that punter Tommy Townsend just had. He led the NFL in net punting average at 45.6 yards while ranking second in total average at 50.4 yards. And both of those marks set single season franchise records. He was simply outstanding. The Chiefs never want to punt, but whenever they had to, Tommy often came through with a big kick. Each of those players and dozens more helped the Chiefs assemble a 14 and three record this season. And with the divisional round right around the corner, Kansas City will aim to keep things rolling in pursuit of another trip to the AFC title game.